And I've seen more people out on the streets walking, carrying bags, and, and picking up and putting stuff in bags as they walk. And we had people going to the town transfer station and trying to promote recycling in the town. Someone came to our meeting one day and said, I'd really like to do a cleanup. There's so much trash around town. And so she became the leader of that activity. It's one of our most successful events that we do every year. Is when we try to make some changes, there is always going to be opposition. Every People don't always like everything that everybody does. So what our goal has been is really to try to educate people. All right, so Green Hanson, we started in 2007, and we were coming together as a group of people. I actually had just moved to town and wanted to meet people who had interests similar to mine, so I got a few people together and we started Green Hanson. We really wanted people, uh, our group, to create an environmental awareness. So we also wanted people to um, think about our natural resources and supporting and being stewards of natural resources, and then also to work on energy efficiency and other sustainable practices. I got involved with Green Hansen because I saw so much trash on the street. I was looking for an organ a local organization that might want to help clean up the streets from seeing all the trash on the streets when I was out walking or running or biking. Um, and it was really pretty disgusting. So I saw Green Hanson, I think on Facebook, and that's how I got involved with them. When it comes to cleanup, I think there's been a lot of people who have been very interested. That has grown and done a lot of outreach to different organizations, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, the SEEP organization at Whitman Hanson High School. Those people have gotten involved. Some of the church organizations have gotten involved. So that's been nice, um, and they've, they've shown up and uh, come to the cleanup greenup. And I've seen more people out on the streets walking, carrying bags, and, and picking up and putting stuff in bags as they walk. Because when I first started this, there were no such things as nips. There'll be bagfuls, just bagfuls of, of nips in the same spot. It has morphed into a lot of alcohol and nips especially just when you say hot spots you can tell the same person that's their dump site there'll be hundreds of the same kind of alcohol out there there are states in which local scale action to achieve both local scale environmental improvements, but also make contribution to much larger environmental change can be possible. And it's almost as if in some cases, direct democracy lets you skip the glue and the stickiness of a legislative process. I can say one thing that we're working on, it's another successful thing that we promoted and educated the public on, it's called community choice segregation. And basically it's like a buyer's club for electricity. Your town gets to negotiate for electricity prices. Your town can also choose to ask for more renewable, renewable energy in the mix. So we can have like 10% more solar and wind in our mix. Some states allow towns as part of their sustainability and energy planning to regulate the types of energy that homes and businesses might use. There are communities, including communities in Vermont, where they'll pass an ordinance that says new housing must be heated using an energy source other than fossil fuels. And so that pushes developers and individuals into areas of identifying and installing much higher efficiency heating and sometimes hot water. 
we ended up getting it on our town warrant and got it to pass over, I think it was about a year and a half ago. And it's a long process, it's a state program, and that's one thing that we're still working in. It's now with the Department of Public Utilities, and it takes about a year or so to get approved. So once that it's approved, we'll be able to hopefully negotiate for better rates for our electricity and also to increase the amount of renewables that are. Even if one local group doesn't win, a similar group like them may have won somewhere else and there may be lessons that come from that. And I think the idea of environmental collegiality and a connection between groups gives people the sense that they're actually making a contribution rather than sort of howling at the moon.